Hi, I'm Charlie Panay, the Managing Director of Red Squirrel Property Shop. I wanted to go over the process of selling your home. It can be quite a daunting experience, especially if you haven't done it for a very long time, or maybe it's the first time you've ever sold your home. So in this video, I'm going to go through some key steps of the process of selling your home from start to finish and you leaving. Now, the first part of selling your home is you need valuations. Now, how to choose who you get to value your home? Very, very important this part. Make sure that you do your research on the companies you're inviting out. My advice, make sure you get two or three companies out. Now, you might be asking, why is Charlie from Red Squirrel telling me to get two or three estate agents out? Well, it's really important because every single estate agent works in a very different way. If you only get one out, you will assume that's the way estate agents work. Well, I can tell you now it isn't. We all work in different ways. So it's important to get two or three because then you get an understanding of how they work and importantly, the variation of valuations because I, you will see you'll get low valuations, you'll get high. There'll be a range. And from there, you can try and make an informed decision as to what you believe you'll get from your home. So you've had your two or three valuations. Now you need to choose your estate agent. This is really important. Don't get pressured into making a decision. Don't have someone tell you to sign their contract there and then. We're the cheapest. We're going to do this. It's important for you to really consider exactly what is included with each and every estate agent. You get what you pay for, and, and that's something I strongly believe in. So don't get swayed by low fees. Don't get swayed by someone negotiating their fee, because if someone's negotiating their fee in 20 minutes, they're not a very good salesperson, are they? So what are they gonna do with your home? So really establish the values of that company. Do they align with your values as a person? And then choose the agent that aligns closest to that. That's the best advice anyone could ever give you when choosing your estate agent. So you've had your valuations, you've chosen the agent you want to use, now we're going to market. It's a very common question people say, how long will it take for my home to be on the market? Now traditionally, you may have experienced or have friends that experience you're waiting two, three weeks to go on the market, you've got to get photos booked in, you've got to have this. It really shouldn't take that long. That is the average, but companies like Red Squirrel, and there's a couple of others that are very good, if you instruct certain companies, they'll get you on the market the following day if you want it. You know, if you have a company like us out in the morning, it will be on the same day. Now, getting your house ready to market is a different one altogether there. Don't go too over the top. I don't want a staged home. Buyers don't want a stage time. They can feel that. What we want is to ha have a home. People have to feel like they're buying a home. So declutter, that's it. That's all you have to do. First impressions. If you've got wallpaper hanging off the wall, okay, get that back up. But generally, declutter, make sure it's clean and tidy. That's all you need. We do not need a stage time. So your home is now on the market. What happens next? Viewings. I mean, you can't sell a house without someone walking in there. Technically you can, but you don't want to sell it to someone that hasn't viewed it. Now, every agent has a different view on how they like to carry out viewings. Through market research and being the fastest and highest selling company, our preference is you're not around. Why don't we want the owner around on viewings? Because we want the viewers to feel like it's their home. Now, I don't know if you've ever viewed a home and there's been owners around. It just feels awkward. And you're also not going to be honest with the agent about how you really feel about that home. So it's really important for us as a company that the owners vacate that property during the viewing. We can get honest feedback. We can tell what the viewer is feeling. And most importantly, the viewer feels it's theirs, not they're walking into someone else's home. So viewings, they averagely take around 20 minutes, give or take. By all means, we do viewings sometimes that last for an hour and they never offer. We do viewings that last two minutes and they offer full asking price. There's no consistency, but the average is 20 minutes. So go for a walk, go for a drive. If it's raining, sit in the car and go for a drive. 
Whatever you want, just don't be in that property during that viewing. It will affect the sale of your home. And you should never have an agent phone you and ask you to do the viewing for them. What are you paying them for? So you've had your viewings, someone's offered, you're happy with that offer, you accept it. It's as simple as that in terms of accepting an offer. You just say you accept it. The process from accepting to completing can be timely, you've got to be patient. It averages around 10, maybe up to 12 weeks and there's a lot of stress that's going to come. Again, if you use a, a good estate agent that you trust and they align with your values, you'll have a less stressful time because they'll try and alleviate that throughout the process. However, you will have a lot of paperwork to do, a lot of inquiries to answer. My best advice to you is deal with them instantly. Don't sit there and think, I'm going to get round to that, because then you ag aggravate a buyer, the solicitors get slowed down, and you can come to a halt. So deal with it as soon as you get it. Uh, this process, like I said already, takes a little bit of time. However, you will get to exchange. Now, what does exchange mean? Well, exchange, you're exchanging legally to complete on your home. This typically, at the moment, averages around five working days between exchange and completion. This is completely flexible. You can have a four weeks between two months if you wanted, or simultaneous that you exchange and complete on the same day. That is your choice. It's a decision that you and the buyers will come to via the estate agents during the process. It's keen to get those expectations set when you agree though, so you don't get 10 weeks down the line and then suddenly you've got different plans. Once you complete, you can collect your keys, pick up your furniture and move into your new home. It's as simple as that. I'm Charlie from Red Squirrel Property Shop. If you want any further advice with selling your home, please feel free to give us a call and we're more than happy to offer any advice, absolutely no obligation.